So guys, I've seen a very nice place here. It's called uh, Dominic Bakery, and uh, let's check it out. It looks very nice, very cozy in here. Wow, this is impressive. Look, the eats over there. It's just on the on the main street of Ginger Town. Wow, wow, wow. This is good, beautiful. So these are the cakes. These are also cakes. During my stay in Jinja, as I was walking around, I came across this place, decided to go in, check them out, and surprisingly, they gave me an opportunity of trying out everything they make inside here. Guys, I know <laughs> this was super, super good. They have a restaurant, they have a cafe, and the experience was... I didn't know we have such places in Jinja, by the way. This is very, very beautiful. Wow, so this is a bakery. Yeah, um, where do you make stuff from? From this side? Yeah, from there. This is, you call it a workshop? Or? Yeah, we call it a kitchen. Oh, a kitchen. So guys, <laughs> so guys, this is their kitchen where they do everything. Yeah. Everything Best displayed here is made cookies. by you guys. Yes, everything. Wow. wow. From here, not from anywhere. Mm. And the quality looks good. The quality of... The bread is very nice. The bread is very nice. What ingredients do you include in the bread? Uh, we have a lot. A lot. Could you every bread each, each bread has got a different ah, recipe? Okay. You find a sweet white, a sweet brown, okay. the whole grain like this one. Oh wow. Whole grain like this one has sunflower seeds. What's this? Oh, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. That's called some mm. sunflower seeds. Why sunflower seeds? Because they're uh, too healthy. Too healthy. Could you tell me some of the health benefits of sunflower? <laughs> guys i'm trying to challenge him but he's a very very wise man <laughs> yeah so and, uh, we have the uh, sweet brown sweet white mm. okay. sweet white mm. yeah. do people yeah. support you guys here yeah. do people come and buy stuff from here you also sell in wholesale wholesale and retail you operate only in ginger uh, we are going to expand it mm. because we're only seven months old. Wow, wow, wow. So it's a ginger born enterprise. Yes. Wow, wow. And they love. We began last year, I was But it's still going. Mm. But people are supporting you guys. We the place and uh, with time it's about to expand. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so guys, when you come to ginger, especially those who come to visit ginger, because ginger is a tourist city place you can come to this place in case you're celebrating birthdays you've come to have fun with your friends at the source of the nile the soko falls uh, you can come and buy a cake here eat under falls by the way how many falls do you guys have here in Jinja? Okay, there's one falls eat under falls soko mm. okay. there are very many <laughs> even the beaches are there i was showing them the cake let me first show them the cakes eh? Yeah, guys, in case you're coming to Ginger, you're going to celebrate something, you can come and buy cakes from here. They are very... I love the presentation on the cakes. And with our cakes, mm. we only in the morning and lunchtime we get. Wow. How is the quality? The quality is superb. Trust me, if you eat one cake or mm. one slice, you feel heavy on earth. Can I test? Yeah, my friend. Can you guys give me a test? Huh? I can. For free, right? Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, give me a test then. Okay. Hello, give me a plate. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to test some of their cakes. Here, I love the presentation. Look at this white cake. Look at this one. So this one is white forest. Yeah. Mm. The cupcakes here. Wow. This is nice. This is nice. Why is this one called Black Forest? Why are these ones called Black Forest? So it's a chocolate cake. Mm. Comprised of the, the dark chocolate. Okay. So that's where the, the forest comes from. Wow, guys. I'm going to test the menu. Or you also sell uh, drinks, cappuccinos, coffee. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's go through the the menu. Could you please present me the menu? I want to check out your stuff. 
You guys are doing an amazing job. Right, I you, love sir. everything there. The presentation mm. is Kawa. <laughs> yeah. Kawa. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Ugandan. <laughs> you thought I'm not a Ugandan? No. Really? Ugandan calls the color. The color? Yeah. And also the accent is yeah. pure Ugandan. <laughs> Uh, nice meeting you guys um you guys are doing amazing okay. i've loved this i saw this place from outside and i was like wow i have to check it out and i know after watching after my people watching this video many of them are going to come and support you uh by the way me i'm a youtuber i make videos about uganda promoting tourism uh, showing the developments in the country infrastructure what what the channel is called UG Connect. UG Connect. Yeah, you can go and check it out. It's great to share subscribe. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I'll be so grateful. So guys, I'm getting new subscribers from Ginger City. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so here's the menu. Espresso single is 5000 That's around $15. Double is, is around $20, $18. So guys, this is their menu. Wow. We also have uh, samosa, snacks. Wow, this is good. This is good. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so yeah. <young. laughs> so so yeah. Wow, wow. So brother, you're going to help me record. Yeah. Mm, while I'm testing this. Mm. Yes. Uh, wow. So guys, here we go. <laughs> Wow. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> and guys, I'm going to be honest with uh, how it tastes. So I'm not going to try to make you guys, I'm not going to say that you guys are doing well if the cake is not good. <laughs> yes, try it as <laughs> it will disappoint. Uh -huh. How does this taste? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> he's excited, he's excited. <laughs> you can't believe it. Guys, this is good and actually let me tell you. Yeah. My wife likes black forest cakes. I wish she was here and I wish I could carry some for her. <laughs> uh, you can have a close view. Mm, that's a close up, guys. Yeah. Of the black forest, forest cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. This is good, guys. Wow. wow. This is another tip. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Mm, mm. It's really enjoying eating. <laughs> you guys, you guys. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much. This is Ginger, this mm. is Dominic Baker. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a... told that you guys are new in business. Yeah. Mm. True. We actually have been here for it's now it's now going for this is the sixth month. Because mm. we started in November officially. Mm. November first. Mm. That's when we opened. Mm. So yeah, this is this this the sixth month. How is business? Yeah, before it used to be slow, but now we are trying to upgrade and then we are trying to brand ourselves. Mm. Everyone is getting to know the place and mm. then testing everything. So, yeah. Custom people are coming in to buy. Yes, yes. Wow. Because we have a variety and everything is just fresh, made from here. We don't do anything outside. Mm. So, we get everything here, mm. make it ourselves, mm. beat juice, beat coffee. Anything Every, that is. Everyone who works here is Ugandan. Yes. How about the owner? The owner is an Indian. In the Indian. Yes. Definitely, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> why is it that uh, I'm not saying this out of head, but yes. I'm just being curious. Yes. Why is it that many, especially in Ginger, mm. there are a lot of Indians in business more than uh, the local people? Why? Oh. Big businesses are owned by the Indians. Or maybe it's a tough question, it might be put <laughs> it, in trouble. No, it's, it, it's really a tough question, but mm. to be honest, I think historically people know Ginger's background. These Asians first settled here, mm. before they started maybe going. That's where I think 
it was their base mm. of settlement. So it, it was easier for them to start businesses here mm. Mm. than starting it somewhere else in Uganda. But by this time, mm. at least we would be having many Ugandans in business. business. Mm. I think, you know, you know it, the problem may be, what I can say is the problem with Ugandans who fear risking. And then these people take risks. Mm. They don't care what the outcome will be, but they try. The little mm. they have, they invest. Mm. So, mm. Like, mm. Mm. Not, uh, not even Indians alone, we have Somalis here, or mm. all kinds of people. I'm told the owner of Igaro Hotel. It's a Somali. And they have several petrol stations. Yes. I've seen the Lebanese, they have a restaurant there, it's called uh, Yes. 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 And actually, guys, it is the only <laughs> place in Ginja with shawarma. Do you like shawarma? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. Me, I like shawarma so much. Yeah. It's yes, the only place with shawarma in Ginja. It's owned by Lebanese. Man, I think Ugandans should wake up. Yeah, these, these guys are slowly taking our country. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad. So no, if somebody they can bring it by the time, new. By the time we wake up, mm. these people will have taken over all the business opportunities. You get? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not against you, my Indian <laughs> brothers, my brothers from other countries, mm. but I'm just calling up Ugandans to start investing. Don't fear risking my brothers and sisters, Ugandans. By the time you wake up, you will no longer be owning the country. Because, uh, because whoever, who, whoever has the money controls the people. True. You get it? Yes. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's something, you know, sometimes these people, if they come in, they have different ideas that they bring in. So there's a lot of things that we can learn from them. Mm -hmm. And I personally have learned a lot from these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. By God's luck, if one time I happen to have the money, mm. the mandate, mm. we, shall, we can start something. Well, Me, I have a bad similar. history with Indians, Indian bosses. Wow. I have a bad history with them. I'm being honest. Yes, uh -huh. I've never worked with them, but mm. usually they are not good people with their workers. Do they treat you good here? Uh, these people, they are not bad. If, if, you know, sometimes we, I don't know how I can say it. If you're at work and you're supposed to, you do what you're supposed to do, then you will not have problems with your bosses. Mm. But these people, the problem, they want you to be committed and they're so strict. Mm. <clears throat> so some people find it very hard to work with them because of them being strict and mm. that kind of thing. So he's ever on your neck. <laughs> you so, know, bro, let me tell you something. Mm. Me, I've been through a lot. Mm. I used to work as a porter. Mm. My primary student vacation and senior for vacation. Yes. You know pottering, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, on, on the that, site, uh, yes. Yeah, on the site. Mm. So we had Indians there in Munono. If you know Munono, that's where I grew up from. Yes. So they would be like, my friend, my friend, no sitting, no sitting, you are sitting, cut your money. <laughs> yeah, it's good, I'm that. sorry to any Indian who's watching, but I'm just saying my experience. No sitting, Lawrence, Lawrence, my younger. Mm. If you sit near, cut your money. They don't want to see you sitting down. At least they give you a broom to sweep. Mm. At least they tell you to pick a leaf which is falling down. That's true. Yeah. They just don't want these people. They hate that room or whatever, that environment or someone being comfortable. If you are to work, you're not supposed to be mm. too much comfortable because if you. You're so comfortable, you will forget what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. If I become so comfortable here, yeah, I will not mind about the customers that are coming. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just there, then I'm waiting for someone, no sitting, I like, okay, you can have a rest. That mm -hmm. one, you can't desist from that yet. You cannot have a rest. Mm -hmm. Someone will have a rest. Mm -hmm. But you have to be just, you'll be like, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that, I have to be alert who is entering, who is moving out, mm. what's happening. So that's the kind of thing we are supposed to do. But I think it would be better if we Ugandans, especially you who are working with them, to learn from them. The things you've learned, you implement them in your way of life, in the businesses we create. Yeah. I think we would make some good businesses. That, is that, that would be great to work. And we shall prosper in that because 
whether a Ugandan can start up a business, mm. but he can take a week minus checking his business. Mm. Unlike these foreigners, mm. someone who put up a business, even if he's selling the least thing, he will sit there and wait for it. Mm. So he will account for anything, any penny that will come into the business. Mm. Unlike us, for, for us, we just take it for granted. That's why in most cases we fail in that field of business. Mm. Yeah. But it, not because they are mean, not because I think they are selfish, but these guys are just strict on what they can cut in mm. and they expect a lot. That's why. But let's not forget the fact that there are very many good Indian yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We have a lot of friends, mm. and someone being the fact that he has given you a job, mm. you're working. Mm. That is already the best <laughs> thing in life you can do. So if you're given, a, you've, 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 you've been given an opportunity mm. to earn, mm. that is the best. Mm. Yes. So he has given. How is the pay? Is it good? Yes, well, I think I'm asking even, sensitive questions here. Yeah. <laughs> even, even if let, you let, let me stick to what brought me mm. here. <laughs> no, that question is okay because oh, okay. here in Uganda, mm. if you want. Sister, thank you so much. The cake was nice. Mm. Mm. I think I too. Mm. Mm. And I like your smile. <laughs> yeah. In Uganda, if you're waiting for something, maybe you're waiting for the best cake. Nice. Anyone outside that maybe mm. you're not going to you're not going to get any job. If you want the best pay, employ yourself. Mm. But if you're employed by someone, he will dictate mm. anything is going to give you because our constitutional law has nothing like any law that will uh, uh, maybe limit someone and be giving a priority of doing this and this. Mm. So it's open. Someone will just tell you I will pay you this if you want to work, you still work. If mm. you don't want, you're going to wait and uh, whatever on the streets. Wow. So, we just... Bro, I like your honesty. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much for the wise words. I think many young Ugandans have learned from what you've shared here. Yeah? Definitely. And I'm also still learning. We're still learning. So it's a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Members, try to subscribe to mm. UG Connect. Yes, yes. I'll, I'm also going. I didn't know about it, but <laughs> I'm definitely going to subscribe yes, right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> few words, few words. Huh? Few words to tell people. Mm. Yes. Okay. You tell them. If you're watching, mm. focus on your goals. Mm. Don't focus about the money. Mm. Don't focus about anything. Mm. Just focus about your goals. Mm. And then life will be just good. Mm. Wow. Yeah, never forget. Some girls focus on going to work, mm. money, make up, mm. buy clothes, mm. going in new places with mm. my friends. So that's, that's why you don't wear makeup? Uh, no, for me. Mm. By the way, I'm not used to make that makeup. You're not I a makeup like, person. I don't like makeup. Mm. But again you look nice without it. I'm always on my natural. Mm, I can see. I don't like makeup. Mm. Okay, once I can put once mm. going for bad days, but mm. not. Wow. Thank you for makeup the nice words. Is, yeah. I think the girl child has learned something from you. <laughs> I think maybe. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you two guys mm. and uh, thank you so much for the black forest cake. Really? It was hope, very nice. Hope, hope it, was good. it tasted um, American. Really? <laughs> then you. Who is the chef? The chef. Mm. Who is the chef? They have left already. Yeah. Okay, so I I was going to buy a pizza. I think you guys should give me a piece of pizza. Oh. I want to try out the pizza. I'm buying it. Mm. Mm. It's sliced, right? Yeah, it's sliced. So guys. We just tasted the black forest cake and it was good. You guys, okay, you guys have seen the reaction. The reaction was priceless, and right now we are going to taste the pizza. I'm just getting a slice of pizza here. I like this, I like this place. Wow, look, this is the best bakery in Ginger. So, um, Mr. Mulongo. How is the competition here in Ginger? Oh, mm. what can I say? Not that much. As in being so high, mm. but with time I'm seeing there are a lot of, a lot of restaurants, uh, new places coming up. 
mm. I think with time, mm. you know, be very, very at an advanced level. Mm. Mm. So, what are the future plans of uh, this bakery? Are you looking at expanding uh, to we're Kampala? Looking at expanding to Kampala, mm. Uganda, mm. and this guy around the whole country. Mm. Just like other bakeries, the way they do, like that mm. of Kentucky, Tito, mm. they have expanded. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Even as well, that future plan. Mm. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you guys for being nice to me. Yeah. I've liked the Black Forest. Thank you. Yeah, and How the pizza it? too. Was huh? it? it was very, very nice. And that one is made out of uh, chocolate. It has mm. got a fresh cream. Mm. We don't use other uh, icing like uh, fondant and uh, mm. butter cream. Mm. For the uh, fresh cream, yes, that's milk. Milk? Yeah. Wow. And you taste it, it's just one. I've left it, my brother. Okay. Thanks for the appreciation. Yeah, how much is a slice of uh, that cake? That cake, that one is 8,000. 8,000. So, I've just... have, uh, We have different slices, we have uh, different cakes. Though for today, you own this. Mm. We also have other, like the pineapple upside down cake. We have the scotch, scotch, uh, mm. sorry, the cheese. Mm. This cake is there. We do have there are many kinds of cake. Mm. Wow. Just wow. know if you come and make your order, you mm. make it. Mm. Okay. So you can you can also customize a cake in case I come in, in with my what I want. Yeah, you, you can, can, you cut, can customize it to my I can give you an example. You want a, you want a cake with your photo? Mm. You can do it. Really? Yes. Are you enjoy you? Yes, are you I enjoy eating myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds weird. <laughs> All right, so I think my is my pizza ready? Someone was going yeah. to prepare it. Yeah, perfect. Hmm? No, I'm going to eat it here. It um, is from here. Yeah. So guys, my my pizza is ready and I'm going to be testing this guy's pizza and I'll be telling you how it tastes like. We've just tasted the, the black forest cake. We've just tasted the black forest cake and it was very, very nice. So this time is for the pizza. Let's go for the pizza. <clears throat> Guys, this is chicken and it's a chicken pizza and it's just good. I love the fact that it is very juicy. It's very juicy. You, you can tell from the look. It's very, very juicy. This is nice. Guys, you should come and visit this place. If they have not paid me, I was just passing by there and I uh, found the place. I was like, let me check out the place. <laughs> and everything about them is nice, guys. Wow, wow, this is good. Mm. 
I'm sorry for talking while I'm eating. <laughs> In case you come around ginger, mm, you're going to celebrate a birthday, a get together party, this is the place for you to get the cake. They have nice cakes. You can come and buy cakes from here for your celebrations. Uh, those people in Jinja, Iganga, Bujiri, places around Jinja, Jinja town. This is your place to get cakes.